Hey everyone, and welcome to Serum in Depth number 17. Today I'm going to finish showing you all the ways to import single cycle waveforms and wavetables in Serum. So, one of the simpler ways is from the main screen to just drop either a single cycle waveform, as I have here. I believe this is a single cycle. Let's check it out. I'll drop it into Audacity. Yep, single cycle at 2048. For whatever reason, I've had bad luck adding single cycles to the front page, except for if you have multiple of them. But I'm going to show you that feature now, I suppose. We'll do the front screen now. So if you highlight multiple single cycles like I have here, and drag them in, you'll create a wavetable of all of those single cycles tacked on together. I don't know why you can't just drop a single cycle. But it brings up the wavetable imports, if you do. So, which brings us to the wavetables. Now, I'm not going to go over the options right now, but suffice it to say, if you drag over an audio file that's more than or that's anything because it doesn't recognize single cycles, it's gonna bring up these options. And each one of them does something slightly different. Uh, I'm just gonna choose 2048. And as you can see, that imports a wavetable. There you go. Okay, so now all of the rest of the ways are inside of the wave editor. Let's go ahead and initialize to default. The first thing you can do is just drag a single cycle onto the frame timeline and it's added right there. Next thing you can do is go up, hit add remove and insert a current index and that copies the one that you had clicked and pastes it. The other thing you can do is hit plus which duplicates the last one you had selected uh, right in front of where you have it selected. So if I go here and I change this to a saw and then I hit plus you get a saw wave in front of it if I click here you get a saw wave in front of there if I click here we get a fourth weird shape what else can we do we can hit plus and then we can go into the formula bar right here hit singles just saw all of the singles um, are formulas with just X in it I'm gonna look briefly at the formulas for um, wave tables in a second you can also import and the first one, two, three, seven are all for wave tables and the last is for single cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna put a single cycle on my desktop. Right here, drag in, no, just open. Boom, just added it right there. Cool. Is that it? Okay. So you can also draw it in. So if you create a new default one, let's default everything. We can click here and we can draw inside of the frame. That changes it. We can use the additive portion up here. We can change it to a saw and then draw on it. Actually, if you want that to work, you have to do just saw, and then you click this button right here. It brings up the partials for this saw, and then you can change it. All right, there you go. Now, that's all of the ways to import single cycles. To do multiple cycles, we can, like we showed on the front screen already, we can do all of those options. And we can also drag into here, and it'll give us all of those options again, which I'm going to go over in another video. Uh, just to show you, this is a multiple cycle wavetable. It's it's five two four two eight eight long, which is two hundred and fifty six tables or uh, frames of twenty forty eight sample waveframes. I think I'm saying that right. So drag in. We have a wavetable. We can reset. We can make a wavetable by using the multis which are multivariable formulas. 
takes a minute to load. But you can see in here, there's a it's a function of x and y. And it creates a table. We can import. And then we can build these up from singles. So you start with one, and then you do all of the single transformations like we talked about. And now we have an animated wave cycle. We can morph it and move through it. which sounds pretty cool for being pretty much random. So I think that does it. This is all of the ways of ways to import single cycle waveforms, create single cycle waveforms, import wavetables, edit wavetables, import wavetables, um, at a glance at least. Uh, I'm gonna go into a little more detail, the things that I haven't covered yet, which are um, some of the things in this menu. Um, a little more in depth on how to use the grid drawer and then some more on the additive section and what I, whatever I can figure out about the formula portion. All right, thanks for watching.